symptoms of phytopathogenic bacteria so uh, understanding or you know, identifying the different types of symptoms will be very very essential uh, to identifying the particular pathogen which is responsible for the particular disease so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing a phd plant pathology in anomaly university now we will start with uh, uh, one by one symptoms so plant pathogenic bacteria will produce various types of symptoms so i don't want to mention all those uh, uh, things so that will be uh, very very confusing to you uh, for confusing for each and every student so uh, important symptoms that i am going to discuss here the first one is leaf spots leaf spots so water soaked or circular or irregular necrotic uh, lesions with yellow color halo can be observed here that is you can see here on the right side rise water soaked lesions circular irregular and it look like yellow color halo yellow color halo yellow color uh, discoloration can be observed here and water soaked lesions along with irregular necrotic spots can be observed and here uh, here a small you know a small black uh, water soaked irregular lesions can also be observed on fruits here uh, leaf spots example is bacterial leaf streak of paddy this is the bacterial leaf streak of paddy which is caused by xanthomonas oryzae Pathovar varize and the second one is bacterial leaf spot of pomegranate which is caused by xanthomonas oxonopodis pathovar punicae second one is leaf blight so here a blightening or you know uh, uh, a blightening of leaves and inflorescence can be observed in leaves we can see the blightening uh, from on the edges and the blightening of leaves can be observed this is the uh, culture uh, uh, this was grown in a laboratory Example is bacterial leaf blight of paddy, which is caused by Xanthomonas varese, Pathovar varese. This is the culture of Xanthomonas varese and Pathovar varese. The third one is dieback. Third one is dieback. So here are the dieback symptoms are dying of plant organs, especially stems or branches from tip to backward. From tip to backward. Here we can observe here uh, dying back of uh, mango dieback of citrus and dieback of different types of uh, you know plants can be observed here dying or you know uh, uh, drying or uh, killing killing almost it you know if you see the symptoms almost the plant get killed there is nothing uh, left here almost look like a wilting yes so the dying especially stems and branch starts from tip to backward the next one is scab so here a few of the symptoms that we are discussing here the same type of symptom is also produced by uh, uh, maybe uh, bacteria sorry fungi yes okay but there is a different uh, uh, differentiation the particular differentiation will be definitely will be there i know uh, uh, for uh, bacteria fungi and virus so the the uh, next one is scab so the infected area uh, become a rough corky slightly raised with rusty surfaces slightly raised with rusty surface we can see here infected area become rough if we touch with the hand we can observe we can feel the roughness and the slightly raised like you no know, slightly raised you no know, uh, in the wheat stem rust also we can see the slightly raised pustules here we can also see our slightly raised rough corky rusty surface which can observed on the fruits and few of the times abnormal proliferations can also be observed example is potato scab which is caused by streptomyces scabies the next one is canker next one is canker so here uh, corky outgrowth you can see here corky outgrowth can be observed and leaves fruits and twigs also we can observe the same so corky outgrowth and slightly yellowing you can we can clearly observe wherever the uh, corky or uh, uh, pustules like things will be there there only the yellow color halo can be surrounded or yellow color discoloration can be observed here so uh, slightly uh, you know uh, corky outgrowth with yellow color uh, halo can be observed in uh, on leaves and fruits here this is this uh, example is citrus canker xanthomonas citri pathovar citri this is the bacteria which enter into the plant cells through stomata because the bacterial canker pathogen enter into the plant cells through stomata only then galls and tumors so here galls and tumors abnormal enlargement or abnormal increase in size of cells due to the uh, you know abnormal hypertrophy and hyperplasia that we are discussed in many times in even in you know uh, a club root of cabbage itself also example is crown gall which is caused by agrobacterium tumefaciens here we can see abnormal outgrowth of uh, uh, tissues 
uh, due to the you know abnormal enlargements or cell divisions we can see the uh, enlargement of tissues the next one is wilts the name itself indicates wilting wilting drooping and yellowing at later stages what will happen death of plants can be observed example is moko wilt of banana which is caused by ralstonia solanacea on the sea yellowing drooping and the later stages what will happen the plant all will die we can see here all wilting plants almost died 95 percent almost died there is nothing left here oh and a few of the times what will happen there is small uh, you know brown color or white color ooze can be produced from the infected tissues that we can observe here best example is moco wilt of banana that is caused by ralstonia solanacea then soft rot the name itself indicate soft rot rottening of tissues softening or rottening of tissues or disintegration the name itself indicates softening or rottening or disintegration of tissues best example is soft rot of carrot very 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 important irvinia keratovara this is softening or you know uh, this uh, uh, formation of oozes is mainly due to the production of enzyme activity by the bacteria so due to this enzymatic activity the plant uh, sorry the uh, tissues will disintegrate and it produce a ooze like structure this best example soft rot of carrot which is caused by irvinia keratovara and the diagram we can see here white color or you know sometimes a brown color oozes uh, so the, if you want to observe the symptoms you know you take a carrot and uh, place in your home for uh, just uh, sprinkle uh, a small drop a uh, few drops of water in it you just leave it for two to three days within two to three days what will happen smallly the tissue starts will disintegrate so what will happen the bacteria which was present in the surrounding will start to produce the enzymes so due to this enzymatic activity the plant cells uh, disintegrates so few of the uh, books also can be there on you know uh, uh, bacterial uh, soft rots uh, how to prevent and how to manage bacterial soft rot what are the bacteria responsible what are all the enzymes responsible all those things can be mentioned in this book